And now for our Tuesday report, where we take a look at breaking bands. So it's time for Dead Can Dance, who can never be accused of being a mainstream band. Lisa Gerrard and Brendan Perry, the two faces behind Dead Can Dance, have achieved something of a cult status. They sample sounds from nature, often blending birdsong to create their unique brand of music. They've worked on both theatre and film projects, recently composing the music for the film Baraka. The title for their latest album, Into the Labyrinth, reflects their musical philosophy. Brendan Perry lives on an island in a river on the border between Eyre and Northern Ireland. Lisa Gerrard lives in the Snow River Mountains in Australia. Both write material independently, then come together and record it under the name of Dead Can Dance. We need that independence from one another in order for us to pursue our own creative visions, you know. We like what we each other to. do, too. I mean, not everything. I mean, we do battle away occasionally, but we do ultimately like, we work together because we like when we've stood back from what we've done together completely objectively. We've been pleased with that and felt that that's been yeah. worthwhile. The work, the writing process when we get together, the things that we do are relative to the work that we've done apart, if you understand what I'm saying. And our, our development happens apart and we bring our things together. There are no scholar aspects to our work. There are no rigid scholar Academic. academic sort of attitudes in our work were quite the contrary. People say you can never be compared to anyone or no one, there's no one else like you, but in fact there is a whole area of music that isn't in the mainstream, that's very strong and very dynamic. We're dead set against the, the, the cult of the personality, which is one of the most manifest aspects of, um, of the pop primary video. They're, they're promoting icons as opposed to the music. So we would never, I don't think, appear personally in our videos and wouldn't, we certainly wouldn't mind, because this is a promotion of ourselves as people rather than the music, so we're, we're dead set against that. That the video should should represent the next natural progression of the imagination, rather than click clipping the wings of the imagination by representing muted miming forms. To take go into into the inner world, deeper world that, that the music can offer. Oh. Oh. 